to understand that that we're kind of here to serve the universe, to carry out its, its mission, to subscribe to its tune, if you will, to understand that the virtuous way of life is the only way to understand that deep down inside all of us, there is a truth. There is a truth that subscribes to that. We just need to tap into it. What up, Casanova? So in this video, I want to talk about this notion of happiness, okay? And what that really is, because we often have a very distorted understanding of what is happiness and what constitutes happiness and how that ties in with this idea of being in alignment that I talk about in, in another video and how to be happy actually really means to be in alignment, uh, to be in harmony, to be content or at peace. So in order to do that, I want to talk about, you know, I want to draw on stoic principles and uh, to talk about virtuous living or living a virtuous life and what that looks like. Uh, and to also talk about some of the essential components that help form a life of harmony. Okay. And that the Stoics call them preferred indifference. Okay, the things that we pursue and, and prefer, uh, but don't really, you know, don't really need for our happiness. And I'll explain what that means in more detail now. And, and this can serve like a framework or a roadmap uh, for you as you understand what it means to be in and out of alignment on a more macro, in a more macro sense. So just to kind of lay out just you know, a foundational idea here. We we want to differentiate when we talk about happiness. We want to differentiate between things, um, outcomes, circumstances, people, uh, external external things. Okay, that we want to not even external necessary, but but that things that almost fall outside of our control. Okay, not behavior based things. Okay, so. Things like, you know, health, wealth, relationships, education, social status, uh, physical pleasures, whether it's eating tasty food or engaging in comfortable living, you know, or sex or parties, um, uh, friendships and relationships. We said that um, even working on some kind of a passion project. So we want to establish bet between these things, okay, these things that we strive for, even though they're so important to us, things we strive for and a way of living, behavior based, a virtuous way of living, right? That has to do with four virtues. Okay. How we engage, how we engage with life. Okay. Versus the things that we strive for. Uh, it's important to make that distinction because the idea or the argument is that how we engage with life is more important than the things that we set up for ourselves in life or try to achieve or try to chase. Okay. Those things help us, can help us live more virtuously or can help us better engage with life because they're almost like, like a target in a way. Um, in aiming for that target and working towards it, we can better fine tune our process. But it's the process itself. You know, we always come back to this idea that it's the process and not the results and not the markers and not the external circumstances that actually help us lead a more fulfilling life. So I just want to kind of make that distinction right off the bat um, to, to help us understand some of these concepts. So to elaborate a little bit more on the four cardinal virtues, you know, wisdom. Okay, and that's the highest virtue. Wisdom. Wisdom is, is to one understand first and foremost the way of life. Okay, to understand that things are the way they are. Okay, that we're kind of here to serve the universe, to to carry out its its you know its reason, its its mission, to subscribe to its 
its tune, if you will, to understand that the virtuous way of life is the only way to understand that deep down inside all of us, there is a truth. There is a truth that subscribes to that. Okay. We just need to tap into it. We all have that truth inside of us. It's clouded. It's clouded by a lot of bullshit and bad conditioning to be wise essentially is to tap into that, to learn how to tap into that and to live in accordance to that. Okay. In accordance to your truth and to that in accordance to that truth, basically allow, allow for that to be your North star. And part of that, by the way, could be your specific purpose whether it's teaching personal development or learning how to how to climb mountains or be the best surfer or build a cookies empire if you think that's good for the world. Okay, whatever it is that you think is good for the world, whatever you think is your truth, so long as that truth is coming from a place of love, not fear, you act on that. More on that later. Hey, what up? It's me again. Just having a cocktail here, but I wanted to quickly interrupt to one, make sure you're paying attention and two, to let you know that everything you're learning here is directly and indirectly related to building your dream dating life. And just overall, a life that is healthy, win-win, and on your terms. Now, when you're done the video, I recommend you take a few minutes to go to the link below where you can watch a very entertaining and informative video on what steps you need to take to begin your very own transformation. If you're up for it, that is. I guess you first need to ask yourself, and pardon my French here, but do you want to fuck lots of hot coop or do you want to fuck lots of hot As well as find love, discover the meaning of life, and become a self-developed, self-respecting man. Okay, end of pep talk. Back to the video. Go check out the link below when you're done, or I will personally call your mother and have her force you. Now, one of the other things that is captured under wisdom, okay, what it, what it means to be wise is to know, this is one of the most, you know, important traits of stoicism is to know what is and isn't within your control, okay, to accept the things that are not within your control. What's that quote? Um, God... It's recognizing that um, there are certain forces out of your control. Okay, and we've talked about this before. And to have the wisdom to know that you cannot control this and you should not judge it either. You should not get emotional over it. Okay, you should not judge it. But only focus on what you can control. Okay, and sometimes even how you perform at any given point in time is something I often talk about. That in itself is also not within your control and not something that you need to judge. At any given point in time, you are always doing your best, right? You're all, you're an accumulate in that moment of time, okay? You're dealing with a certain level of experience and, and, and a certain level, a certain capacity and a certain level of confidence and a certain level of skill at any given moment of time. Okay. A certain level of experience. And so you're always going to be making the best possible decisions, taking the best possible form of action. Okay. You know, you certain, certain level of strength, all of it, right. In that moment, you're going to be doing your best. Okay. That doesn't mean that, that you're not aware that the process that doesn't mean that you're not aware that you can do better in theory, that you can follow a better process. Okay. No. Okay. It just means that in that moment, that is your best. And so that in itself is out of your control. Okay. I always tell guys when they're approaching a girl at any given point in time, or they're going on a date, you are inevitably going to do your best. And that in itself is out of your control. Not to mention everything that happens, you know, um, not to mention everything else, like the girl, other circumstances, okay, that that's also out of your control. And so having the wisdom to know that that, that is part of the universal, you know, reason, okay, the universal logos, 
is, is, very, is, is virtuous. Second, justice, practicing justice, meaning practicing righteousness, practicing kindness, practicing integrity, very important foundational part of character, of good character. Community and social responsibility, taking care of others. As you self-develop, you start, you turn more from, more from fear, more towards love. And as you start turning more towards love from fear, you understand that you have this universal social responsibility to basically take care, take care of everyone. You understand this concept of universal unconditional love, unconditional love towards what? Towards life itself, no matter how ugly, ugly, right? It's a judgment. No matter how ugly life gets with all its wars and famines and and conflict and poverty and all that's in hierarchy, to learn to love and accept it uh, and to understand your your social your responsibility in the grander scheme of things in the universe. So as you start to do that, you subscribe more to this idea of, okay, I need to take care of others, I need to help others. Everyone is doing their best. This is something I truly believe in, something you will understand more and more. Everyone at any given point is always doing their best. That's something that can evolve over time, but at any given moment, it is their best. That's justice. Then we have courage. What is courage? Courage is learning how to act in spite of your fears, how to follow your truth, how to develop resilience in the face of fear and adversity, how to have the balls to do the right thing and to, to pursue your truth, whether it's going up and talking to a girl because that's you know your truth, or whether it's saying the right thing, making a video about a certain topic to, to, to spread the truth, whatever it is, okay, it is, acting courageously and practicing courage when life demands you to. Okay? Saying the right thing, doing the right thing. We live in a world where people are cowards. Everywhere, everywhere, people are cowards. I'm not saying this is a judgment. I'm saying this is, this is kind of like a fact. And there's a reason why this happened the way it did. And we have to recognize this. We have to recognize when we ourselves are being cowards and to act courageously and to do the right thing when it is necessary. Okay, so that's courage. Last but not least, we have temperance, which is essentially balance and self-control. So remember, we're pursuing all these things that we want in life, whether it's relationships, you know, women, a certain lifestyle, certain projects, hobbies, whatever it is. But if we don't recognize the importance of self-control and not allowing any kind of excesses to rule our lives over self-indulgence, the pursuit of excessive, excessive pursuit of pleasures, okay? Focusing too much on one thing, okay? Whether it's work or women or drugs, okay? Anything in excess is bad. Anything in excess is escapism. Escapism from what? From the universal order, from the higher, you know, from the the higher good, the universal way. Swimming against the stream, essentially. When that happens, you suffer. This has all been tested, tried and true. So, to practice self-control. To practice self-control, to recognize when something is, has become unhealthy. To recognize if there's escapism happening. To recognize when you're chasing certain things for their own sake, you no longer are living virtuously. So those are the four cardinal virtues and they are key. All right, man, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this content and that it really helps you make some moves in the right direction, sincerely. Because everything I teach, I have lived and breathed and contemplated ad nauseum. Unlike a bunch of these cookie cutter life coach clowns out there that regurgitate some shit they read in a book and call themselves experts. With that in mind, if you want to go deeper, if you want to really know what it takes to become the kind of guy that can confidently attract and manage relationships with quality women on your terms and in a way that is healthy and honest, no scummy or gimmicky shit here. And if you generally want to live a life of truth, freedom, love, courage, and adventure, then as Tom Cruise famously said in Jerry Maguire, help me help you and go click the link below. There's a very entertaining and informative video that will shed some light on how you can get started. Do it or you will forever perish into the dark abyss. 
But seriously, go check it out. Let's kickstart this journey of personal development together and help you reinvent yourself into a sex god. Mm -hmm.